Hi guys, not sure if you can see this or not. This is my homemade mill based on an Emco at Unimat SL lathe. This is used for milling the locks. The face plates for the locks, I need to make them so this helps me. It works nice and quiet. Like I say, it's based on the Unimat SL. That's the motor from it and the motor bracket and belt drive. The rest of the machine I've built myself. Sorry, this is going to be have to be short and sweet because my memory stick space is running out as usual. Sorry about the sun, but I hope you can get an idea and see it. I'll try and make a better video shortly. But this is what I've come up with so far. It's only little, very nifty little miller. Does the job nicely anyway. See, that's an, a faceplate for the mortise locks. Don't know if you can see the drawings I've made where the Holes have to be milled out for the tongues of the locks to go in. You see like these locks. That's supposed to be the front piece that makes it look fancy. So that's set up at the moment to mill. Like I say, I'll make a better video. Just a little clip to show this mill working. There we go. I pull this lever down. Basically, it drills the hole first and then afterwards we mill it along. Once it goes through, then we bring it round. Just clear this slough. See now, as once we go through this 2mm plate, we mill along and then once we cut it cut out roughly, we do the same with that one and then we neaten it up with it couple of warding files and then we have a face plate that's for this lock so it's a nifty little mill sorry about the sunlight I wish I could film in better circumstances but it's a sunny afternoon here where I am I don't know if you can see that now great little mill this is entirely put together by all the bits of metal and things I've had which I've been working on just a small miller to help me with the locks and this is the outcome I was building a better motor for this mill but at the moment because I need the mill in an emergency I've rigged up a Unimat SL motor which I don't need which is doing the job nicely I dare say there'll be another idler pulley there and I'll have more speeds but at the moment I just got three speeds and it's the main thing is doing the job so I hope you like this guys with the belt speed of this I'm gonna drop it down I think the belt speed is a bit too fast so go on to the center one see how that is well, that's even worse I think that was on the slower speed yeah that's the slowest it's gonna get
bit of an experiment to see what we've done. Uh, look at that. Nice elongated hole. It's just rough. The, these screws need adjusting to be more tighter. That's why there's a little bit of chatter, but nothing serious. And the same down here too, I've got. I don't know if you can see them. These three screws down here, which need adjusting accordingly. This is just a rough job, you know. The main thing, I've got to cut the hole out roughly and then I'll file it square with the files. And then we'll have a faceplate for that lock. But this is just to speed up the process because this is such hard work to file this out by hand. It takes forever. And the filing machine is not much use need for that takes a long time too. Need to put a more faster motor in the filing machine to make it more faster. It's, it's too slow. Well this is my best bet is this little mill which I've got. I've got the Emco FB2 mill which is in the house but that's set up for a different job at the moment and I can't disturb it. So in a time like this I need another mill. And the Unimath 3 is a pain to set up. So this is perfect just a standalone standalone mill just for these odd jobs. Sorry for the interruption before, this is the end result. I got this to build more fire for now by doing a few adjustments. This is the striking plate for the key plate for the same lock. Here's the finished project. There's the keep and there's the faceplate made for this lock. These holes just need counter sinking for 10 millimeter screws, machine screws to go in. And that needs to be drilled to four millimeter and countersunk on both sides. Because this plate can be reversed depending on which hand the door goes and which way the lock is set up. So this is it so far. Hope you like this. This is just the very end of this video now. This is what I did. Got a nice face plate for that lock now. That milling machine didn't half help me. Otherwise I'll still be filing now. Hope you like this. Check out my other videos. And have fun. Thanks. Bye.